Go ahead and start putting your hands together right now for Miss Delicia Winter. Right? And vice versa. 
If there's negative, there's going to be negative. And no, it's not easy to get over. And no, some people are not just putting it on. You know how they talk about young kids getting groomed to behave sexually or in certain ways? Well, you groom for trauma. That trauma doesn't leave you. Y'all heard what I said? It was almost 12 years ago. 56, about to be 57. That means that my trauma didn't come to a head until I was 45. People thought that I was successful. I was fine. I'm a nurse. Honorably discharged veteran. Had a husband and children. And I thought, I call myself a bonus love child. Cause I'm not going to call myself that up B word or what I call B right with <clears throat> But all that time I was hurting. And a lot of people didn't know it because I was good at suppressing. I'm a master suppressor. You don't see my pain. You don't hear about my pain. I go in a dark room and I hide. I walk away, I run, I freeze. But when I tell you, I'm here now. And right around the time of the pandemic, I was working in a toxic environment and decided to pivot and become a psychiatric nurse. So I could see from the other side what I needed to know to help me and my people. And I'm learning more and more about not only the logistics of everything, but I want to tell you we so hard for each other. Even people who are supposed to be helping you, doctors, nurses, calling people crazy, cuckoo. <laughs> and I'm like, and now. This little shy girl who was shut up for so long, I say, you need to watch what you're saying. If you look at that person's history, doesn't it make sense that they're going through this? And you know that from training. See, now I'm a mental health advocate. Because it's not that easy to get over this stuff. And sometimes you think you do. You see that pretty lady walking down the street. She got it together. She looked good. Face beat to the God spirit. You don't know what's on the inside of her. You don't know what she been through, what she in the middle of, or what she look forward to, looking forward to. These beautiful ladies have talked about being the accused woman. Now, I've had my times of that too, when it comes to emotional, but physical, no. But like I said, I watched my mom get beat down like she's a man. I watched horrible stuff that nobody ever that I saw or that I had to deal with because the beach man is quiet. She don't cause confusion. She get her brains. It's my business. That almost killed me. It almost killed me. I never I remember the first doctor I spoke to. He said, How do you feel about yourself compared to others? Do you feel like you're better than them? Equal, or do you feel like you're less than? I surprised myself when I easily said less than. Why? There's nobody here that's divine. Nobody here walking on water. I cannot judge you, you cannot judge me. 
And if we really want to support each other, then we give each other some grace as we give ourselves some grace. There's so much more I can tell you, but I don't want to take up too much time because I want it to be impactful. But at this time, Winter 2024, on the cover of a Business Women's Magazine and on a billboard on 75 South. I couldn't see myself here. I saw myself dead. I can say to myself because I love my children. Because I, I, I caused them more pain than good. But thank God, in 24, this iconic year of reinvention, I'm so thankful for discernment, determination. And I'm just so glad to be able to be here, speak to you. And encourage you to use your voice. Speak to you whoever you need to speak to. And yes, you can't speak to everybody. We know there's things. We have to be real. So use for discernment. But don't be put alone. When I went through what's called adverse childhood experiences, basically childhood trauma. And causes substance abuse, obesity, cardiac problems, diabetes, hypertension, inability to keep a job. There are so many things that affect in the lives of you and yours. And we need to stop covering our ears and Open up those ears and open up those eyes. And if you don't have anybody else, I have a life, health, and wellness business that's trauma recovery focused. It's called Black Hunter Black Queens Life Coaching. Yes, my initial niche was black women, but a whole community needs it. That is part the issues, when we say generational trauma, curse, generational trauma is tearing us up. It's tearing us up. And that's just a little of my story. Want to hear more? You can find me on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. <laughs> Try to be like the kids a little bit. Um, and I do have, I have a horror series um, book. Um, for a series book uh, now, and it talks about four characters who um, find out uh, a new diagnosis for women of color. Also, I have a, a self published journal and um, one collab. But I'm so glad to be here. I'm so glad to tell my story. And now, instead of being afraid to speak, I don't care anymore, y'all. I'm telling everything. <laughs>